what's up i'm jaded nerd daryl walls is part of the gospel group the walls group and up until this point he was making music minding his business that was until somebody in his inner circle decided to leak and release a video that was posted on instagram amongst close friends showing him kissing another man but the first question i'm going to ask is how is he exposed to my knowledge he's not in a relationship with a woman he isn't saying that he's straight he never came out and said he was heterosexual he never came out a la andrew caldwell a la donnie mcclurkin and said i'm delivered and all that and then there's still grumblings and mumblings and bumblings and all that about what you're doing tipping and dipping behind the scenes but Daryl walls wasn't doing any of that he was with somebody that he found attractive he shared a video to people he thought were his friends and one of these friends decided to be messy and that's really not cool it leads me to ask a bigger question because we talk about inclusion and tolerance in our society and we speak about free will and people have the right to choose to live their lives how they want to do so. But we always come back to the same old things, the same old things that are ruining families, ruining communities and ruining society. What did he do wrong? He's not in a relationship. He wasn't cheating. He wasn't professing one way or another. He's minding his business. And because he's singing gospel and people feel like there is a way that the church is supposed to act. And if you're in the church, then you can't live this way or that way. I'm not understanding. But here's what I think about this entire situation, because you have a situation where your friend betrays you, put your information out there. And now everybody is talking about everything else other than the talent, other than the walls group other than everything else that they've worked so hard to put themselves out there to be known for. So what he's kissing a man? He can be kissing a woman, a turtle, a poodle, a unicorn. I'm just trying to understand what the expose is. Humanity has been here for a super long time on this planet, and there's no shortage of things that we do as human beings that could be categorized as trash or wrong or counterproductive to the betterment of society. I hardly think that two consenting adults sharing an intimate moment and those two consenting adults share it with their friends who are also consenting adults and you get one person out of that group that decides for whatever reason that everybody else needs to see this, everybody else needs to know this. And I think whoever did this is garbage and I think you're trash. Did you get paid? Were you promised clout? Are you gonna get some kind of reality TV spinoff? What was the end game for violating somebody's trust? And that's the thing that really gets me because people act like they're cool with what you do and they'll be participating as well, knowing that deep down they're conflicted and they haven't reconciled the fact that they like to do X, Y, and Z. Perhaps it was a situation where we had a closeted homosexual man who doesn't accept the fact that he's a homosexual man and was upset when he saw Daryl Walls show affection to another man comfortably thinking that he was in the company of friends. So this alleged closeted homophobic homosexual man decided that they was going to do everything in their power to rain on somebody else's parade. You bitter queen, whoever you are, and anybody that's going to celebrate this and think it's a kiki and a kaka, what are you laughing about? Our lifestyle is not an expose. The way that we live and who we love and all of this stuff is not for the next click and view. It's not for somebody to sit around and point their finger and say, yep, they're perverse. They're the worst trash of all. We're people. And until we in the community understand that we're people and we shouldn't be fighting one another, then we can't get the respect and consideration that we ask people outside of the community to give us. What do you think? Put everything in the comment section below. If you would like to see more content, please give a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. I am Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to you all next time.